welcome back to my channel, A Bookish Heart with Shauna. I'm going to be doing an Easter book tag, and happy Easter to everyone. It's Saturday right now, so I'm having my Easter dinner tomorrow. I hope everyone's doing good with this quarantine and having more time to read more books. I know I am reading more. Anyway, this tag has nine questions, so let's jump right into it. The first question is rabbits, a book you wish would multiply. So a book you want a sequel to that doesn't have one. For that, I picked Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. This is the Owl Crate edition and it is a very good book. Um, I, sorry, all my books are falling. Um, I loved the ending. I thought this book was very intriguing. My last name is also Walker, so when this book talked about Walker women, um, it kind of felt like I come from a line of strong women, so this book kind of touched home for me. The ending was very interesting. I'm not going to give any spoilers for it, but in case anyone hasn't read it yet, but I just wanted to know more about Nora's story and Oliver's story, so I wouldn't mind reading a sequel to this. So that's what I picked for the first one. The second one is Eggs, a book that surprised you. For this, I picked two, one that surprised me in a good way and one that surprised me in a negative way. The first one that surprised me in a good way is A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I've heard some a lot of people on booktube talking about this. I can't remember right now exactly who it was, but I had seen the name of it mentioned a bunch of times and it it sounded intriguing, but I didn't expect to love it this much as I did. When I was reading this, it I was like, okay, it's a space book. They're going to go to another planet. I didn't really know what exactly to expect. I just heard some good things about it. This was amazing. It reminded me somewhat of Firefly, but with which I loved, by the way, the TV show, but with different species. There was the species were very well developed. I found them very unique. Like one species in here, um they're kind of like mermaids, but they communicate through colors and their cheek they have like these scales on their cheeks and Whatever emotion they're feeling or trying to portray, their cheeks will change that color. And there's just so many, I've never heard of that in a book. There's just so many unique aspects that she writes. The world is so amazing and the characters feel real. You feel like you really know them and they're your friends. So I definitely could not put this down once I got into it. I'm definitely looking forward to reading more by this author. I know... There's a few more books in this series. Um, so yeah, I expected to kind of like this, but I did not expect to love it as much as I did. One book that disappointed me, surprised me, was actually an Owl Crate book also. I Hope You Get This Message by Farah Nasrishi. I This book was okay. Like I think I gave it 3.5 stars. It wasn't horrible. But I expected to like this a lot more than I did. The premise of it was so interesting to me with the aliens and their interactions with Earth. That part I found very interesting in the beginning when, and even the alien jury I found so interesting when they were like talking about how humanity committed so many crimes and they were debating back and forth about what the punishment should be if humanity was redeemable. That part I found fascinating, but that part was too small, too small of a section of the book for me. The rest of the book was interesting. The characters, it was about humanity's reaction to the end of the world, which is very fitting. I kind of should have read this now in these times. Um, I guess it would be fitting for the times we're going through now, but I read this back in the fall when I got it in the Owl Crate box. 
and I just, I wanted more about the aliens. I wanted more from that aspect of it, so. And the ending of this was very disappointing to me, the way it was written. So this book disappointed me. And that's it for that. And the next prompt is Hunt, a book that was hard for you to get your hands on. This one was also hard for me to answer. I haven't really come across that. So the book that I chose, it's The Empire of Wild by Sherry DeMalin. I haven't read this yet. It's on my TBR shelf. But it wasn't that it was hard to get my hands on, but it was actually an arc. I won this through a Goodreads giveaway. So it says on sale September 17th, 2019. I got it, I think maybe five months before that. It's a beautiful cover. It's actually a Canadian book, which I always love reading more Canadian literature. It's, I'm excited to read it. I just, I don't know why I haven't gotten around to reading it yet. But thank you to this author for the arc, if I never had a chance to say that before. And yeah, so that's what I picked for that. The next prompt is Lambs, a children's book that you still enjoy. I was going to pick the Chronicles of Narnia series, so The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe being the first book, but I couldn't find it on my shelf, but I wanted to mention that is one children's book that I love. I read the book and watched the movie in school, and I loved it, but the one that I picked for this is actually Redwall, the whole series. I have about one, two, three, seven of them on my shelves right now, and I know I have more in a box somewhere. This one is The Long Patrol. This series is by Brian Jock. Why is this not focusing? Um, I don't know if they're children's books per se. I mean, they're kind of thick, but I guess it depends on the age of the child. I think I read these as a teenager. I loved them. These are my original copies. I mean, put my initials in the front from when I was younger. These are my original copies that I've kept since I was a teenager. Um, I love these. I want to complete the collection one day if I can. I find them interesting, very sweet. The characters are good. Um, yeah, I like the poetry. Like Some of the books have um, like little poems in the front. Most of them do. And some of the poems really stuck with me over the years. So... That's what I'm going with for that. The next one says, Spring, a book with a cover that makes you think of spring. I went through my whole bookshelf and I couldn't find any books that really fit this until I found this one. So I was gonna pass on this prompt and at the last second I found this on the top of my shelf. Very springish, it has flowers, um, some birds. The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. It says Willow Warbler Feeding Its Young. So that's definitely a spring cover. This is the back. That's the author. And the whole book is literally like, it's hard to see, but different plants. Um, illustrations are beautiful. It's literally like goes month by month. This is March and shows her diary of nature and the countryside. It's a very beautiful book and that's what I'm picking for that. Then the next one is Jesus, a religious or spiritual book that you love. This was also hard for me, but I'm going to choose one that my grandpa wrote. It's a self-published book. It's called My Name is Art and I Am by Art Turnbull, which is my grandfather on my mother's side. So we all got a copy of this book when he published it. That's my grandpa there. He is a retired Canadian minister. He was in the Canadian army. He was an army padre, and then he retired and became, retired from the army and became a civilian minister. He's Anglican and he traveled all around Canada with the military raising six children with my grandmother. And 
this is like kind of a mini biography that I think about 10 years ago he published this. So this is very special to me, so that's the book that I chose for that. And the next one is Rising from the Dead, a book from a deceased author. For that, I picked Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. My One of my first boyfriends made me read this. Actually, in high school, I think grade 12, I read this. I really liked it. I watched the movie and really liked that. So Joseph Heller died in December 1999. It's a very good book, so that's what I picked for that. And the next one is Baskets, a book in your Amazon wish list now. For this, I'm going to pass. I don't have any books in my wish list or um, in my cart right now. I actually just ordered some books from Indigo website, which are coming in the mail soon. I'm not going to tell you what they are because I'm going to do a book haul video. So yeah, so that's it for that. And number nine is Candy, a book that is sweet. This was also hard for me. I don't read a lot of like contemporary chick lit or any books that would be considered sweet. But I did find this one on my shelf. It's I've read half of it. It's very thick. It's Nora Roberts' book called Dangerous Embrace. It's actually two books in one. I finished the first story and it's actually two books combined into one. That's why it's so thick. Um, it's just a love story, but I found it very sweet. The characters were just fun and sweet. It's a, a fun, quick read. So that's what I'm picking for that. And that's the end of that tag. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Have a great Easter. I hope that Easter money will bring you chocolates. If that's your thing. I hope you can see your family and be happy. And thanks for checking in. I'll be back soon with some more videos and bye for now.